Ready or not, here I come to hunt you down and force feed you some more Snopper Wolf drama. It's only been four weeks since that whole drama with Jack's films happened, where she doxed him on her Instagram story after he called her out for being lazy, unoriginal, and stealing from other creators. And I made like five videos on that situation because it just started snowballing and turned into this giant avalanche of shit. And this time I wanted to take a different approach, give it some time to develop, so I didn't have to keep making videos as each update came out. And now there's a new drama developing between Sniper Wolf and Azzyland over apparently Sniper Wolf once again stealing content <laughs> by taking her titles, thumbnails, and video ideas. History loves to repeat itself. It's only a matter of time before Sniper Wolf posts Azzyland's house on her story and says, should I visit her, guys? But regardless, let's get into the meat and potatoes here. I want to go ahead and start off by showing you a clip from the Nerd City video called Snopper Wolf Stole Her Life, where they're talking about exactly that, where Snopper Wolf has just been stealing pretty much everything from Azzyland. And when I finally watched uh, some Azzyland content, I was like, there it is. That's the voice. We don't care what you are. We don't care if you're not even the same species. Wait, they got a house? Why are they so angry all the time? This girl does sound like her. She's trying to talk like her. And then she's gonna act surprised like, oh, they thought I was her? But you were inspired by her. And she's not even changing one little thing from the videos to the, the accent. It's literally just copied and pasted, which can't say we're surprised at this point. It's Snopper Wolf we're talking about. She's going to steal it and put no originality in it whatsoever. And Azzyland actually did respond to this tweet and she said that this whole situation isn't about who copied who, it's reaction content. It's about exploiting your position of power and weaponizing your fan base. Jack's film knows about this. Wanting to, to destroy all competition and then taking my personality and forcing my hand despite wanting nothing to do with her because of relentless harassment for years. And that definitely does seem right if you know anything about Sniper Wolf, if you've been keeping up with these recent dramas. She pretty much acts like she is the founding father of reaction content. She thinks that no one else did what she did before she did it. She thinks that she's the only person to ever take other people's TikToks and react to them and make money and profit off of other people's content. It's just such a delusional way of thinking. Sniper Wolf herself is very, very delusional. But she did respond to the situation, and she's claiming that actually, no, it's Azzyland that's stealing from her. This is a big finger-pointing competition. Now, folks, we're getting heated up in this kitchen. She responded to the Dexerto post and said, I have a backup of videos and screenshots before she changed the thumbnails to make it look like I copied her. I have proof she copied my thumbnails, SEO, the way I speak, the jokes I make, the way you're trying to manipulate this is fraud. So we got one person saying that the other person's a fraud and the other person saying that the other person's a fraud. So who is the real phony in this baloney? Well, she posted the proof that she had, almost like she... Uh, was Nostradamus and seen the future and foreseen Azzyland trying to call her out. So this is her proof. She said the fact that you can just go on a video and lie about everything is insane to me. And this is the screenshot where uh, apparently someone, I don't think Sniper Wolf did this herself. She took this from like someone else who made it. They said Azzyland, hmm. And it's just showing, uh, I guess, how Azzyland is stealing Snopper Wolf's ideas. And I just want to take a quick intermission, an ad break, if you will. This isn't an ad. I don't have enough views to get ads. But let's just take a step back, look at this from an outside perspective. These are two people who do reaction content, which is just straight up taking other people's content and adding your face on it and a little bit of commentary. Very little transform transformative content. So these are two people who steal content arguing about who stole content from who. Now that is the true YouTube dream, baby. But there is even more proof that Sniper Wolf posted. She said, I have screenshots of you uploading the same video as me minutes after I upload multiple on, a, on multiple occasions, I, I think she meant. And uh, says creative people who are on another level, creative people who are on another level. And she posted 10 minutes after Sniper Wolf. And to this one, I gotta say, how... Do you think that she's pumping out a seven minute video 10 minutes after you made your video? Is that what you're implying happened? Is that she's seen you posted that video and then in 10 minutes 
posted a video on the same exact thing. That seems a bit unrealistic. That doesn't seem to prove really anything at all. But then again, I do also have to point out that since they both are reaction channels, they both only react to other people's content, it's only natural that some overlap is going to happen. You know, there's only so much content to react to. So it's it makes sense that they're going to have similar videos and they're going to be talking about similar things with similar similar clips. But another tweet from Azzyland says that she's been relentlessly bullied for years over these claims of yours. The interview was intended to express the hypocrisy of your claims and Nerd had his own take on what he found. All evidence shown by him can be found on the Wayback Machine where it can't be edited slash altered like screenshots can be. There's no value in driving this bullying any further. And just like in the Jax film situation, Sniper Wolf acts like she's the hero, the good guy, like she's never done anything wrong in her entire life. She acts like she's never even put a piece of gum under a desk. She said, people think I'm an easy target. I hate drama, but y'all constantly drag me into it. Whenever she's the one that starts most of the drama. <laughs> Like with the Jax Films situation, Jax Films was critiquing her, calling her out for stealing people's content and saying, credit the creators, and she responded by saying, here's your house, buddy. Posted it on my Instagram story for you. So this whole situation is pretty much like that Spider-Man meme of content thieves pointing fingers at each other. So who stole who's stolen content? woo -hoo. So honestly, I don't know who the copycat is. I, I don't know who's stealing from who. If I had to guess, I would say it's Snopper Wolf because she does have a... She has a, a, a pretty big history of doing that. But at the same time, Azzyland is a very similar channel. Does a very similar thing. So I'm, I'm sure she stole some jokes and stole some ideas before from people and whatnot. It's just the reaction channel way. It's what they do. It's how they thrive. And at the end of the day, this is just a stupid little internet beef. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who stole from who because it's just goofy. It's just silly. I made this video to make fun of both of them. And other than that, I'm going to let you form your own opinion. You're your own person. I don't need to tell you how to think. You can decide what you think about this whole situation. And other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.